Hello everyone, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Chris. Today's video is a house overview on Henry Rose. It is a fragrance house I have been meaning to explore for a couple reasons. Number one, I can really get behind the ethos of this brand. And number two, I have a wonderful subscriber who has for several months been telling me you really, really need to try their fragrances. So if you're interested in learning more about the brand and the house of Henry Rose, keep watching. So this fragrance house or brand came about because the famous actress Michelle Pfeiffer wanted to start a fragrance house that focused on fragrances that were clean and sustainable and free of toxins and chemicals. She stopped wearing fragrances when she started having a family because she did not want to expose her family members and her kids to unknown chemicals. And she got tired of not wearing any fragrances. So she got together with some really smart people and developed a brand that focused on fragrances that have no, no chemicals, no parabens, no toxins, um, nothing that interrupts uh, endocrine cycles or hormones. There's no BPA, there's no formaldehyde cruelty free and she got together with some really smart people and came up with some fragrances that met those uh, qualities or characterizations and I have to tell you I was a little bit skeptical I thought it would be very difficult to come up with a clean fragrance brand and have fragrances that smelled really good I assumed it would be one or the other and I'm gonna tell you I am super impressed with this house I think that there are several amazing fragrances in here and I really believe that if you are looking for a clean fragrance or if you're just looking for a fragrance in general, there is something for everyone in this line. So I went ahead and bought both of the little coffrets or discovery sets. One is labeled kind of a more fresh and clean and the other one is labeled warm. So I bought both of them. There were four in each, so eight in total. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the one full bottle that I went ahead and bought. I bought this almost immediately after smelling it. It is called Queens and Monsters, and this is what all the bottles look like. And it is kind of their sandalwood, heavier sandalwood forward fragrance. I tested this out one morning. I sprayed it, went to work, and by that, my, by my lunch break, I was on the computer. <laughs> buying a full bottle. I loved it so much. So this one is, and I love sandalwood. Anybody who follows me knows that I love sandalwood. And this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. This one um, opens up a little green. And at first I thought it might be, I thought it was like a green vetiver, but it's actually violet leaf. And that makes sense. It's a little bit green and just a touch floral. Yeah, it's, it's green, it's got this green violet uh, leaf and then it goes into a little bit of a floral note and I believe the floral is neroli here. And that is lovely, it's a very refreshing, it's a very lovely opening. I don't like green fragrances in general but I find this very, very nice and pleasant. And this kind of fades into the most beautiful, warm, sweet sandalwood. This has such a beautiful dry down. At about the third, fourth hour, this is absolutely gorgeous. I think there's also um, like cocoa musk in here that kind of gives it a little bit of sweetness and warmth. It's heading to the gourmand direction, but it doesn't quite get there. So it's sweet, but not too sweet. If you like a soft, sweet, vanillic sandalwood. This one might be right up your alley. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, the next one is one that is my second favorite and I'm thinking heavily about buying the bottle and it is called, no it's not that one, it's called Dark as Night. I'm not going to put the picture of the bottle up because because they all look like this first bottle. Um, this one I really, this one is the other fragrance that I'm thinking very, very strongly about buying a full bottle of. Oh, this is so pretty. Um, this one also starts off 
a little bit green as well. Maybe, maybe this one has a little bit of a green vetiver. And again, something floral. There's a theme that kind of runs throughout these fragrances. Um, and then it immediately goes into this strong but very pleasant patchouli. The patchouli in here is, is not a head shot patchouli. It's not a hippie patchouli. It is a, it's not dirty, it is a spicy patchouli. So, and I love patchouli as a note. So this is a real patchouli heavy fragrance. As it dries down, it kind of becomes a little bit sweeter. There's a little bit vanilla in the dry down, but it's still mainly a patchouli heavy fragrance. I would call this a cozy fragrance. And so the dry down is vanilla, patchouli, and vetiver. It's gorgeous. I love it. Very cozy fragrance. So the only thing that keeps me from buying a full bottle right away is I have so many patchouli, vanilla, vetiver fragrances, but I think I'm going to end up with this one. It is so beautiful. So if you like those notes, this is, I just think this is kind of, they knocked it out of the park with this one. It's really lovely. So the next fragrance is their vanilla fragrance and it is called Torn. And this is a great vanilla fragrance for people who do not like heavy vanillas, strong vanillas, and overly sweet vanillas. So this fragrance, again, starts off with a light floral note. It is slightly sweet, slightly powdery. So I think there's violet in here. It does have a little bit of vetiver and the dry down what I like the best is the dry down at about like two or three hours and it is a, you get that vetiver, but then it starts to get a little bit sweeter. So you have this sweet sandalwood, vanilla, and a little bit of patchouli in the dry down. And there is this note of praline that gives it just a little bit of sweetness. It by no means becomes extremely sweet or even foodie. It just gives it a little bit of sweetness, just enough to make it kind of a, a slightly sweet vanilla fragrance, still very light. And this lasts maybe about four to five hours on me and then it kind of becomes a really nice close skin scent, but very, very pretty vanilla for the vanilla lovers. Um, I think anybody who loves vanilla would enjoy that and even people who are afraid of vanillas would enjoy that. The next one is the one I have worn the least and I think that I only wore this one time. And it's called Windows Down and I think this is their brand new one. This is their newest release. This came out this year I believe in 2021. and. This one is a very, very lovely fragrance, but I do not think I'll be getting a full bottle in this because it is a citrusy tea fragrance and a, a fresh citrusy tea fragrance. And I love those fragrances, but I really have several. So um, even though it's beautiful, I don't think I'll be getting a full bottle, but it has some citruses up at the top. You know, there's always bergamot. There's there's a lot of neroli in these fragrances. Yeah, there's grapefruit in here. And I believe that the note that's listed is Earl Grey tea. I tell you, I don't get Earl Grey tea. I get more of like a chamomile or a green tea. That, that would be the tea note I get. It's definitely a freshy, definitely has white florals. Um, there's, a, what is that flower that's in here? I think it's called the Spanish broom. That is, now this one is a yellow flower that has a little bit of some honey notes to it. Yeah, so citrusy, floral, tea-based, clean fragrance. Definitely has like clean musk in the dry down. I think this one has oak moss too and some woods. So this is a lovely fragrance. But, um, uh, and again, if you don't have any tea-based fragrances or citrusy fragrances or floral fragrances, this, this is a beautiful one. I just have a zillion of those. So, um, yeah, two more from that line. Okay, so the next two, let's see what we got here next. We have Fog. Um, let, let me refresh my memory on this one. It's been a while. It's been a couple weeks. Um, 
Yep, this one is, I think, one of their woody fragrances. So this is a fresh and bright, citrusy, slightly green fragrance. There's definitely lime in here, and there's probably bergamot. There's always bergamot. Yeah, I get a little bit of vetiver, too. There's, I think most of these fragrances have vetiver in them. And floral. So there's definitely some sort of dry wood in here. Uh, there's cedar. There's the cedar. So a fresh, citrusy, slightly floral wood, cedar with some vetiver. And I believe that I remember this. Um, they all have sandalwood in them, so this dries down really nicely. And it's a little bit clean and musky. So a clean, dry, citrusy, slightly floral, woody fragrance with a musky, clean, dry down. This one I remember didn't last super long on me. I think maybe like one to two hours. So that was Fog. Um, what do we have next here? We have Last Light. I think I like this one. Yeah, so let's get a spritz of this one. It's a little light. Okay, so this one is, they're all pleasant. I like them all. This one is a little shampoo-y. There is, oh yeah, this one is the one with the peach in it. There's definitely a peach note in here. Um, peach and patchouli. So a little bit shampoo-y, a little bit of peach, but it's not overly fruity and it's not uh, overly floral. The patchouli kind of keeps it, um, gives it a little bit of, it grounds it, gives it some earthiness. There's musk in here. And this one I think dries down a little soft, like cottony softness. Yeah, this is nice. So I like that peach and patchouli combination. Yeah, I remember I like this a lot. I think this one was my third favorite, if I wasn't mistaken. Yeah, I like this one. This one I think gave me about two to four hours of longevity. Okay, the last two in the set or the coffret are, this one is called Smith or Smythe. Um, Oh yeah. Yep. This one is, I really like this one. This is a really pretty fruity fragrance. This is very different from the other ones. Um, starts off smelling like a really nice hairspray. And I mean this in the best sense. It's very fresh, very watery, very fruity. I think there is, there's pineapple. There's definitely green apple. There's melon. This has aquatic notes. This is the one that about five minutes into the dry down, you get a very obvious apricot note, which I love. I love apricot, um, osmanthos. Very, very beautiful. So this beautiful, fresh, juicy, slightly aquatic, fruity fragrance that has a really nice dry down. This is the one that didn't dry down super sweet on me, so it wasn't very vanillic, but it dried down nice, like a nice sandalwood and cedar. A nice dry woody dry down. Really, really nice. I like this one a lot. And the last one is, uh, this has to be Jake's House. This one I think is their best seller. And I really, I really enjoyed it. But this one has uh, Orange Blossom or Neroli. And I have tons and tons and tons of Orange Blossom and Neroli fragrances. Yeah, this is Neroli. Yeah, so this is Neroli. I think there's some aquaticness. There's definitely some musk in here. And the musk and the aquatic notes kind of overpower that Neroli. It's very, very musky at first. It's like a beachy, musky fragrance with a little touch of Neroli. So you have to like Neroli. You have to like musk to enjoy this. I think it's very, very nice. Obviously, a lot of people enjoy it because this is their best seller. 
I think this one I got around two to four hours on. Very, very pleasant. Again, if I didn't have at least three to four Orange Blossom Neroli fragrances that I adore, I would probably be getting a full bottle in that, but I think I'm set for now in the Orange Blossom Neroli category. So that was it. I covered them all. Just kind of a quick overview in this house that I am extremely impressed by. I, again, I have one full bottle. I'm certain to get a second one, second full bottle, and maybe even a third as time progresses. But thank you again for stopping by. Thank you for watching me. For everybody who subscribes and supports me, I really appreciate it. I'd love to hear your comments. Anybody Has anybody tried Henry Rose? And if so, which ones are your favorite? And with that, I will see you on the next one.